Right, today I thought I'd show you this. It's the Answer Pretty Phonograph, made by the company Answer. Quite rare, haven't seen one of these about at all really. I've seen the copies, the ones that copied this, which were made by a company called Commodore. Um, this dates from around mid-60s to very early 70s. So let's have a look. So we got it's quite a small compact unit. If you look at the back, it's uh, we'll have a look inside first. I've undone that already. It's all aluminium uh, construction, which is unlike the Commodore, which was mostly plastic. Uh, construction's exactly the same as the Commodore, really. Um, small transistorized amplifier. Uh, one transistor for the input and then there's two on the output and there's a germanium uh, small uh, one watt speaker motor which drives the little wheel which we'll get onto in a minute when we flip it over uh, the two C cells well that drives the motor completely independent and then the 9 volt that drives the amplifier let's put this back together quickly let's put that back there And we've got the lid, also aluminium, pressed aluminium. The only bit that's plastic on this is actually the uh, the outer shell. The, even this top bit's uh, metal. So right, we've opened her up. Got the uh, tone arm here, which is metal as well. It's about the size of a cigarette, I'd say. Just pop that up. Rests in there like that. Lift this up. This is spring-loaded, the centre spindle. And that holds the 45 RPM adapter there, I don't know if you can see that, it's got the answer branding on there, uh, won't need that. Um, that's the drive wheel, which uh, is the main drive, and you've also got a supporting uh, wheel, which just supports the record. Unlike the Commodore, they omitted that, um, obviously for price uh, reasons, probably. Um, it's got a small... Um, so yeah, small rubber drive wheel, but all the little bearings are all phosphor bronze, as as is for this one as well. It's all metal again. So right, let's fire it up. Uh, we've got this bit of pitch control as well. Pitch, volume, and then on and off. Let's fire it up. It's quite loud for what it is. Probably get it down to about 33 and a third for those uh, long play 45s. And there you go, there you have it. It's a very small compact unit. I've never seen another one. I certainly haven't seen one here on uh, YouTube. But maybe somebody else can shed a bit more light on it. There you go. That's it. Nice unit.